Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play The Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, before I continue with uh, this Let's Play, I need to go over a few things. Uh, first of all, I pointed out this guy earlier. This is one of the Mafia men. And as you can see, he has some dice above his head. Uh, he is actually the host for the fourth street race, but it's a street race that isn't required to be. It's called a wager race. For a wager, wager race, you race across the whole level, and if you get back in time before the time limit, you actually get uh, double the amount of coins, because you, you have to pay coins in order to do the wager race. So if you win the race or come back before the time limit, you'll get coins, which is a good thing. Uh, second thing I want to go over is um, what's in here. Uh, usually if you can go inside places, uh, you can find these little shirt icons with the dollar sign above them. Uh, this is where you can buy costumes uh, for your character. Now, as you can see, Homer can get three costumes. His uh, casual costume, which is just him in his underwear. Uh, his Moo Moo costume from uh, King Size Homer. And the Chosen One um, costume from when he joins the Stonecutters. I believe it's called Homer the Great, but I'm not completely sure. So yeah, um, I'm going to have a little poll, and I'm going to let you guys vote on which costume you want me to wear for the rest of these missions, um, till the end of this level, anyways. Uh, there's not going to be very many videos left. So remember, you're only voting for what I'm going to be wearing through the next video or two, so it's not going to be a very big outcome, but just thought I'd let you guys know that. So feel free to pick one of these three costumes, Casual, Moo Moo, or Chosen One, and uh, post your response in the video comments, and we'll see what happens for the next video. But for now, let's continue with the game. Sorry I wasted about two minutes of your time there, but I want to make sure I got, went over those things now instead of later. Uh, next, I'm going to do the third street race because it's actually in this area. And since I don't really come back to this area for the rest of the level, I thought it'd be a good idea to get this done now. If you haven't guessed yet, the host of the third street race is uh, Ralph. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Hello, little son of the police chief, little angel. Those nice man ladies made me a race judge. Okay, this is the checkpoint race. One, 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 go! <laughs> I just felt like uh, showing you the countdown. If you couldn't tell, like every character has their unique way of counting down. Just thought I'd show you that. And uh, anyways, as I was saying, Ralph's race is a checkpoint race. And you have to essentially drive across a big section of the map. And the first one to get to the end is the winner. So, let's see if I can get first place. I shouldn't have any problem. Because the heart just kind of screwed up right there. But, don't underestimate the computer players. Sometimes they'll do stupid things. Other times, they're actually fairly competent, so be very careful. Don't make too many mistakes. Like, you can maybe bump into something and still be okay, but like in later levels, bumping into something could really screw you up. So just be very careful and just 
race with extreme caution. And be very careful going through the trailer park. This is a really good shortcut, but the road is so bumpy that you can easily screw up there. But I'm almost at the end, so I should be able to win this in the time limit. Yeah, the next checkpoint is actually the finish. And we are going to win. This is worse than when Jub Jub ate my cat. And we've unlocked the Electorus, which is actually, in my opinion, the best car you can get in this uh, level. So I want to go ahead and switch cars to the Electorus. And as you can see, we can see all the cars we unlocked. So we have the Lectorus, the family sedan, and the pickup truck, and the Falcon, of course. And they keep their damage levels, if you could tell. So, like that 20% damage is when I used this car last time. So let's see... I'm actually going to use the Electorus because it has the can you most come speed at this me? time. I'll pay you it back, Rob. Okay, we really only have one more area to explore to get lost cameras and cards and then uh, other random level gags. But there is a lost camera that I actually missed. It's not too far from this location though, it's actually just like right here. I noticed it when I was watching the last video back. I was like, hey, a wasp camera, I need to get that. So, we only have like, two more wasp cameras to get. I think. Maybe it's either two or one. I don't remember, I think it's two. Oh, come on, not now. Jeez, uh, hopefully I can get the rest of the collectibles and then also finish this level before time runs out. Or before I reach the 10 minute mark anyways. Okay, over here we have a level gag. Yay! <laughs> That's probably not a very good thing to do. So if you work at a nuclear power plant, or if you live near a oh, nuclear no. power plant, don't, don't do that. That's not a good idea. And... okay. I need to go over here before I do anything else. And I hit hey, the... uh-oh. Oops. Yeah, that'll happen if you don't drive through that correctly. So we have to go all the way to the edge of the power plant on the other side. Uh, this is actually the, pow the power plant and also the stonecutter's lodge as well. And there's the other wasp. Oh, oh, both wasp cameras are actually right here. That made my job a little easier. Hopefully I don't get hit by the other wasp camera because I can't see what it's doing right now. Where'd it, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Ah! Damn it. Oh well. Now you know what happens when you get shocked by one of them. And now I can't see where it is again. And I can't even reach it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got all the wasp cameras uh, that are defeated. Uh, I think we have one more level gag to go, and we have two more collector cards. Uh, both of the collector cards are actually in this area. And, like, there's one right there, obviously. And that's the parchment, the stonecutter's parchment from the stonecutter's episode. And I should be able to get the next mission done. As well as the last uh, collector card as well. Okay, 
Okay, let's not make a mistake this time. There we go. And let's go inside Homer's workstation, which is right here. Uh, before I start the mission, over here we have... Oh wait, no. Okay, I have to do the mission first. I sleep with that camera? Old sexy girls could be watching me on the internet. Stupid cameras, you should be smashed. I'll destroy you at your power source. <laughs> okay, blind big brother, destroy all the power couplings before time runs out. But let's do the level gag first. That's also not a very good thing to do. And look, we killed that guy. We killed that guy. Okay. Okay, let's do it. See these things over here? We have to smash them all. And you actually have to go across these walkways to get all of them. Okay, one over here. It takes two kicks to kill them, and just like one ground pound to actually destroy it as well, so do whatever you want. Okay. Now over here is the collector card that we need, so we're going to try to get that. I'm trying to watch my uh, computer screen to do this because the TV I'm using is very dark. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is going to be fun to do in the dark. Okay, ride it all the way over here. Ride this. And there we go. The carbon rod. And level cards collected. New bonus game track unlocked. Uh, that is actually a main menu option, and I'll go over that later, probably in the extra videos of this project. So uh, don't worry, I'll cover that much later. So don't worry about that right now. Let's just hurry up and finish the, uh, beating these things. Okay, one here. Ah, crap. Don't worry, I have enough time. I have about a minute left video time. Okay, let's not make a mistake this time. There we go. Task complete. And let's go to our workstation for a nap. Finally, I can get some sleep. Mindless drones, return to your ugly families. <laughs> okay, mission complete. And that's actually going to be the end of this video. Uh, remember to vote for the choice of clothes you want me to wear for the next video or two. Remember the choices are casual, moo moo, and uh, chosen one. And this is Slum Kirby, and I'll see you next time for more Let's Play The Simpsons Hit and Run. Later, folks.